Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey here. It's Friday morning, 9.56. I don't know what my problem was this morning, but when my wife got up to start her morning routine before work, usually I just roll over and go back to sleep. Today, I was wide ass awake. So I stayed awake pretty much until she went to work, like right before eight o'clock, and this was like six. I was wide awake when she left. And then the next thing I know, I heard the cat yowling and I woke up and it was a little bit after nine. So I fell back asleep for like an hour. Kind of don't know where the hell I am, but I do know one thing, I'm hungry. So I'm gonna get down and make breakfast. Now today's little experiment is with the Sure Sniper 33 F1.2. So I have it sitting on my table here on the other side of the room. I'm probably a yard and a half away from it. Uh, just real quick, I wanted to plot this on and start today's festivities with filming with this thing. Clearly, I'm not going to be vlogging with this one either. And I'm going to round this whole thing out. I might as well by specifically doing one for the 23 millimeter, and I'll do that tomorrow. But for now, this is what you're going to see today. So I'm going to set this up as well downstairs where I did the 56, and I'll do the 23 tomorrow in the same spot so you can see it. And I'm going to take this in the Forerunner with me. Obviously yesterday I didn't do the 56 millimeter in the Forerunner because there it was there's no way. Absolutely was not gonna work at all. I don't even think it was focusing on me. I turned it on and it was literally like here, right here, and it was all blown out because it was F1.2 when I was outside. And I'm not doing any ND filters in that shit. So, all right, enough blathering, I'm hungry. Let's go make breakfast. Okay, so I'm gonna show you this. This is me holding the camera with my arm completely extended out. And I will tell you this, I do have it on active stabilization, which we all know isn't that great. I couldn't, like even walking facing forward yesterday with the 56, it was absolutely unusable. It was so jittery that, that it was like making me sick when I looked at it. So I didn't even put that into the, into the video. Trust me, an unstabilized lens that with that big of a focal length on, on any of these Sony cameras, shit. So, okay, this is starting to hurt my arm. Let's go make breakfast. All right, kids, so here we are back where we were yesterday. I have the camera back almost to the tree and I'm halfway between the camera and the wall behind me and we're at F1.2. The difference is today, it's not sunny at all. So the Christmas tree lights are on and all of my lights and the TV and everything in the, in the living room are on. And that's the lighting that we're getting. So not quite the same as yesterday because yesterday I had no lights on, but it was super bright in here because of the sunshine. So anywho, this is what it looks like now. You can see that, that yes, I still, I still look good uh, with the F1.2, but this is not nearly as crazy as the 56 millimeter. What do you think? I mean, it's still an, an amazing bit of footage because of the, the, the technology of that F1.2 and, and just the way they built the lens. Now we're gonna go oot and a boot, probably to three ships, and I'll show you what it looks like there. Okay, kids, here's the Forerunner test. Now you can see how much of me is in frame on this 33. Imagine how just freaking hilariously stupid it was with 56. Oh man, I, I even turned it to f2.8 because it's so bright out. Let's just go with f6.3. There, that's a little better. So I'm on my way to pick up my umbrella softbox that just got delivered. And then she'll be home for lunch within 20 minutes. And then I've got a busy afternoon. First things first, I need to send out my meeting invites for next week. That'll take me 10 minutes. I did the things that I had time sensitive deadlines for yesterday. And then throughout the weekend, I'll do the rest of the bullshit and, and get that all done. Oh, I forgot that, that I have this sitting lower. So it was underneath the seatbelt. I hope it wasn't rattling because I'm not refilming. Okay, so clearly I'm in three ships now. I'm at F1.2, of course. I moved it back now that I'm inside. And there, I'm right in the center of the frame and you can see how blurred out everything is. These freaking lenses are amazing. And with that being said, 
your shit in your eye. Okay, so here's more shit in your eye. Ah, uh, okay, so here you can see it. I, I mean, I feel like I don't even have to do the 23 millimeter test to show you how freaking amazing these lenses are. I mean, look at this. It's freaking crazy. The, the amount of separation that you get is just staggering. And I didn't think it would be that big because, I mean, I, obviously I have 1.4 G Master lenses and, and they're awesome. But my God, I didn't think there'd be that big of a difference between a 1.4 and a 1.2. But then again, look at the difference between a 1.8 and a 1.4. So, yeah, these things are freaking awesome and uh, I can't get over it. <laughs> I, I think it's pretty obvious that these, these bring a lot of character to the footage. And I can totally dig it. So, all right, I'm probably just going to stop this right now and make this a really quick video today because I have to go uh, grocery shopping. Uh, again, let me know what you think. This is the Sony FX30, and I'm using the Sure Sniper Series 33 millimeter f1.2 lens, which the Sniper Series, again, has the autofocus. The Nightwalker Series is manual, so that's the difference. Let me know what you think because I think these are amazing. And I know Yankee Cowboy thinks they're amazing because I think he's going to go out and get the 23 after watching you know, the footage of what I've done with just the 56 and the 33. Tomorrow will be the 23. I, I will shoot all tomorrow with 23. So there'll be a little bit more vloggy type stuff because that focal length is a little bit more attuned to the crap that I do every day. So don't miss it. Make sure you come back, drop me a comment. And that's all I've got for you today. So if you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember, kids, forward and up.